Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the five keys. The five keys to cultivating a rich mindset. One person could get into business and be rich, and the other person gets into business and then it flops, it flounders. How to cultivate a rich mindset. You know, if you were to walk into any room, a, a room full of people, and you ask this question, how many of you want to be rich? The chances are you're going to get a vast majority of the people who are going to raise their hands, right? They're going to say, yeah, I want to be rich. I want to be rich. Now, if that's the case, then here's the question. Why aren't more people rich? Why is it that the proportion of actual rich people is so imbalanced against the people who actually say that they want to be rich. What's going on there? Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the five keys. The five keys to cultivating a rich mindset. And why are we starting with the idea of mindset? Because here's the thing. When it comes to becoming rich or becoming more wealthy or to have more money, people will say things like, oh, you've got to start a business or you've got to go do real estate or you need to invest in the stock markets and this and that and the other. Uh, there are numerous tools out there in the world to help you make more money for you to become rich. But then why is it that one person could get into business and be rich and the other person gets into business and then it flops, it flounders? Uh, likewise with real estate. Why is it that someone gets into real estate and they make a great deal of money out of it and then someone else, they get burned uh, from it? And on and on we can go. Because the key thing here is this, it's not about those external tools. You could have all the external tools on how you can make more money, on how you can get more rich. Uh, but if you have a leak in the toolbox, uh, then those external tools aren't going to work. And that's why we are taking a look at this toolbox for you to make sure that it doesn't leak. Or uh, if there is a hole, if it's currently leaking, how can you patch that? So number one here, remember, five keys. The first, keys, the first key is, first of all, for you to define it define rich. See, people say, I want to be rich. But what does rich actually mean to you? If I was to say, define, tell me, what is rich? 10 people are going to give me 10 different answers. Now, it doesn't matter what other people's answers are, but what is your answer? What does rich actually look like for you? See, the number one reason why people don't get what they want is because they don't know what they want. So, what is rich? And I would encourage you when you define it to use more than just like one other word or two other words. People say, oh, rich means I'm wealthy. Okay, yeah, but what does wealthy mean to you then? Or people go, well, rich means I am financially free. Okay, well, how much is financially free for you? So number one, define it. Are you able to describe it? Is it a certain amount and if it's an amount, where is an amount? Is it a net worth amount? Is it a savings amount? Is it a passive income amount? What is it if it's got to do with an amount? Or has it got to do with a quality of life? And if it's got to do with the quality of life, how would you describe the quality of life? How would you describe your lifestyle? So number one, define rich. Number two, once you've decided, remember how, uh, number two, once you have defined it, decide it. Decide. What do I mean by decided? Remember how I say if you walk in this room, you ask people this question, how many of you want to be rich? And the vast majority of people are going to put up their hands? Well, there's the minority that don't put up their hands because they are going, hmm, do, 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 I, want to, do I want to be rich? Um, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm not too sure. Well, decide it. Decide whether you want to be rich. There are some people who decide that they don't want to be rich because of some past conditioning or some past programming where they kind of think, oh, I don't know, rich people, rich people are greedy people. I shouldn't be greedy. Or, or rich people, ah, oh, you know, they, you know they, they, they become nasty people and I don't want to be a nasty person. Well, as you can tell, that's, that's just a story. Uh, it's a story that just makes sense to this particular person. So number one of deciding is, well, decide if you want to be rich. And the second part of deciding whether you want to be rich is, you see, a lot of people don't put up their hands because they think, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm worthy. I'm not sure if I'm deserving. I'm not sure if I'm capable of creating wealth, of actually becoming rich. So when we say to decide it, decide if that's what you really want, and then decide that you're worthy, that you're 
deserving uh, that you're capable because no one no no one's going to confer that upon you no one's going to tell you yes it's okay for you to be rich yeah yes um you are worthy uh, to be rich no one's going to do that you've got to do that for yourself so there's a second key to cultivating the rich mindset so number one define it number two decide it number three now design it design it right people would visualize the end result that's good that that's one part of it where you might uh, visualize yourself when you have that rich lifestyle uh, where you'll be going and how you'll be traveling and who you're going to be with and who you're going to be helping and and the causes that you're going to be contributing to that's good that's great but the second part of that visualization when you design this rich life is i want you to anticipate what the path is in other words to, for you to get rich it's it's a journey you need to embark on you understand that right it's not tana i'm going to be rich now there's there's a journey to you need to embark on this there's work that you actually need to do now anticipate what that journey is going to look like it's a little bit like this if i was going for a long distance car ride if i'm if i'm on holiday and in a different country and and i'm renting a car and i'm going on a road trip the chances are i'm going to be studying uh, the map the route what are the different routes for me to get from where I am to where I want to go? I might be looking into road conditions if I'm driving in the winter, for example, or if I'm driving during the rainy season. Uh, what what roads or what routes are prone to snow or flooding? I might also be anticipating peak hour traffic. Where, what time are some roads? I'm going to be anticipating the route. Because when I anticipate the route, I can possibly anticipate some of the problems. And when I anticipate some of the problems, I can anticipate how I can be dealing and resolving some of the problems that come up. Uh, because being rich, just like being happy and just about being everything else in the world, is not a straight, smooth road. There's going to be twists and turns and bends and there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff that happens that catches you off guard, catches you by surprise. You do not want to be surprised. So design it. See the end and also see the path towards the end. The fourth key in cultivating a rich mindset is to dedicate yourself to it. Dedicate yourself to it. You actually see people people say, "Oh, but I, I'm I'm not convinced or I'm not confident enough to go do business or I'm not convinced that this investment is the best investment for me." And so they sit and then they wait and go, "Um maybe I'll wake up today and I'll be confident." Maybe I'll wake up today and I'll be convinced. Well, well, it's not. It is by doing that you raise your confidence. It is by doing where you're actually convinced. So whether it's researching and doing the work on researching on a particular investment, to do the work in, in speaking to people, to do the work in studying that particular investment strategy, or perhaps it's about you taking those steps forward uh, and seeing more money come in. Uh, whether it's starting a side hustle or maybe it's creating another job or maybe getting a collaboration with somebody in other words when you dedicate yourself to it you will see the results and the results will then enhance your own sense of capability and enhance your own sense of conviction and enhance your own sense of confidence that's the fourth key now the fifth key here for you is to delay yes to delay delay what delay your instant gratification You see, a lot of people want it all and they want it now. You want it all and you want it now. Remember, a rich life is not a just now and then it disappears. No, a rich life is one that you live today, tomorrow, the next week, the next month, the next year, and on and on and on. So a big part of delaying instant gratification is to see where you could simplify your life. Where you could simplify your life. We, I had a a client who I was working on and working with brother and he had a 10 year a uh, goal for his financial freedom and part of this strategy that we designed for him uh, was around delaying the instant gratification and i just met him a couple of days ago and he sat down he laid out his plans and said i've made these plans and these are the areas where i'm delaying and wherever it is that i'm delaying when i look at the overall numbers my 10 year goal now i can reach in 3 years maximum 4 years so he's just saved himself 6 7 years so where can you delay so these are your five steps your five keys to developing and and creating the rich mindset number 1 define it number 2 decide it 
Number three, design it. Number four, dedicate yourself to it. And number five, delay. I'm looking forward to seeing you on your other side of your ridge.